in the last chapter of the Book of Unwritten Tales. So then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist, adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. And so it continues. Are these both dwarves? Because I'm thinking this little guy... Oh, we've got control. Um, This little guy looks like a gnome to me. So why are gnomes and dwarves cohabiting? I don't know. This world is different than other fantasy worlds, though, I'd imagine. So we will have to learn the rules. Look at the chair. That's the Master Brewer's favorite spot. Uh -huh. He likes to relax there in the evenings. Okay. Okay, we can leave there, but let's just look at these things. Look at the note on the wall. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. Hmm. Well, I guess there's going to be a caged gremlin falling upon us shortly here. Is that beer in the pipes? Okay, then. To the kitchen. Uh, hello, rat. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Okay. Look at the hole. That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. Mm-hmm. You can talk to him. Ooh, there's a, a crowbar. A crowbar. So it's pretty big. Okay, so you're not a dwarf then. Great. Can we get a description? A dwarf-sized crowbar. Oh, okay. Same description. So it's pretty big. Well, let's look at this massive pipe contraption that is appearing to transport copious amounts of beer. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system. So it is beer. Through the whole bastion. That's a lot of beer. I guess dwarves do need beer to function correctly on a daily basis. Ooh, look at the stove. It looks like a gigantic dwarven face. Dwarfs are excellent stone masons. That fireplace is proof. I suppose it is. There's a shield that we can't interact with. Uh, torches, so we can go outside too to the gate. Ooh, wooden box. Wooden boxes are always grid. interesting. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. Right. As you day drink, swept, as you swept. Let's open it. Is this the robot? Let's see. I guess this is what we need Not the chance. crowbar I'll never for. Get this crate open with my bare hands. Well, before we do that, let's have a conversation with the master brewer. Hello, master brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. Oh, Wilbur, that's our name. So, um, how are the beer tests going? Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good. But then, bam, the finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. Of course you can't. <laughs> so, you want me to send a robot on a rat hunt? So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat. Definitely. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. We are a gnome. You've got cool. the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. <laughs> well, that well, goes over well at home. Case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> I'm getting the vibe that I'm not really well accepted for my dreams around here. So where are the other dwarves? Where are the other dwarves anyway? All away fighting, you know that. 
There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> so, you're a singular dwarf in a world of, or in an area of gnomes then. So all this beer is for just you. What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Mm -hmm. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got Mortroga's fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Hopefully we do. Aye, let's hope so. <laughs> Those sure were a lot of names that I am unfamiliar with that you just rattled off, Master Brewer. And I'm sure they are super significant. So, can I go when I've caught the rat? So I can call it a day once the robot has caught the rat? Aye, you can go back home and get some sleep. Thanks. So, yeah, aren't you lonely without the other dwarves? Though I guess you do have your ale to keep you company. Do you miss the other dwarves a lot? Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Ball in the Bear... Peppo and Talon, <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. And then, of course, is that different Bellet, from thumb wrestling? Our leader with his golden tankard. Now I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Hey, give me a Maybe chance. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had, and what they've been through. And me. I can only listen on. Yeah, but you've got like the to beer. Hear stories, seen as though I'm not with them myself. All right. Well, back to work. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. I guess I'll do this before I go exploring a bit. Go ahead and bust this crate open. Let's see. Hit, get it. There you. Good job. What's that? That ah, sure is a mechanical a doohickey. We got a manual? The GHRX100. Wood Elvish. Oh, <laughs> multiple languages? Great. Bushish. Must be from Ikea. Here we are. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. The latest in house robot technology. Mm-hmm. Subdivision of Roomba. Feed the X-100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Okay. Hmm. So are Rats we talking rat care. Rats human waste rat or just rat leftover rat food? In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X-100 with DNA from your target. Okay, how am I going to DNA get that? DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Great. And I'm guessing it's the okay. other things so we're going to gonna have to deal with. I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Finally, okay. a simple rat trap. Uh-huh. So very simple. According to the manual, the X-100 needs kitchen scraps or... Okay, good deal. So, kitchen scraps should be in the kitchen. Knowing an adventure game, though, they're probably somewhere else, like the bathroom. Okay, we'll just start in the corner here. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. Right. What's this green glowy junk? Looks super appetizing. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Okay, that's all you got to say? Um, we got dirty crockery. A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. Right. We've also got 
a pot and a stove. Let's look at the coffee pot. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. Mm -hmm. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. I mean, you could put alcohol in the coffee. People do that. The stove isn't used much. So this morning, the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Never heard of beer sausages. Sounds interesting. What's out here? The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. How do you not freeze to death with this open window here, just letting everything in? Got a big haunch of some fast sort. Food. Okay. They just drive by and rip off what they want. Uh, kitchen waste. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. Well, that's what we need, right? Ugh. Yeah. Sorry. Look out the window. So we've got kitchen I call waste. It a history of dwarven cuisine. The okay. Once is enough. What's this pump could be pump? used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. Well, can we try? I don't know if we'll need water, I but so. broken. Probably the something have we have to fix at some point. They get back, if they come back. Is this just food? All right, anything else? Emblem. Yes, a hammer. That is the Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. Gone Each to the war. The battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Dwarves have this thing for the number seven. On my way to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. We can take the cooking pot. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kittens. Ah, mutant slime. Kittens, cats. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. Sacks and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? Leave your answer in the comments. So we can't take the cooking there pot because no there's way a mutant I'm slime. That pot with the evil slime in it. Okay. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. <laughs> can it not be good ever? It's just always varying degrees of evil depending on its state of origin. I guess we'll go back out here and feed this some fuel. Kind of like the flux capacitor on the DeLorean. Here we go. Yummy rubbish. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works. It did. Yes, but it doesn't know what it's after yet, so... Ugh! It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring like a cat. Now I just have to get it to hunt like one. Or an internal combustion engine. Uh, hello, rat. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Okay, can I get something from the hole? Is there like some hair or something? The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. That's what I need. Ooh, I'll take that. Yes, please. Thank you very much. A small tuft of that thieving rat's fur. Well, thieving rat's fur to rat catching bot. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Well, I mean, if it's got skin tags on it, it is. But we're not going to stress overly much on accuracy here. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Well, I mean, you chased it off, but it wasn't actually caught. The X100 makes a pretty good rat hunter. I just hope it never mistakes me for a rat. Well, don't ever put your DNA in it then, right? Right. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will burn. Yeah, um, there's an evil slime in the pot in the kitchen. Have you met him yet? Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? 
Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> All right. I mean, I guess that is your metric on how evil something is. The rat has made his play. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you later, lad. See you tomorrow, Master Brewer. Is there anything left in here for us to do before we go? Gate outside. I'm going to take a quick once over again. There's a map. We don't. Not really seeing anything. To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, or even more rats. Mmm. Or rat dirty magazines. How scandalous. Nothing over here. Once more into the kitchen before we head out. Okay, there's the brewing apparatus. We can't take the cooking pot. There's the dirty crockery, the stove... I don't think we tried to do the coffee pot, did we? Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. Oh, we didn't. So we've got a coffee pot. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. Hmm. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Yes, I remember that. So we must have looked at it, but then I didn't try to see if I could pick it up. We looked out the window. That's just out the window. The food... Ooh, a net. I didn't see the net. I oh, know. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Maybe it's Although used I've never for garlic. Seen any fruit around here. The master brewer prefers heartier fare. Aha. Uh -huh. Now it's ours. I oh, know. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's used for fruit. Right. Although I've never seen any fruit around here. The master. Yeah, you said you said that. Ooh, rubbish. The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but oh well. Wait, can we? Was this an alternative thing that we could have given to the robot? Original dwarven rubbish from the dwarven kitchens. Okay. Well. That is now looking like everything. And if it's not... Hopefully we will just have to come back here and get whatever we've missed. Onward and outward. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. Well, it's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes. But I'm going to make it one day. I don't think it matters if it was tool assisted or not. You've still accomplished it, sir. I doubt that robot is what you would call sentient. Oh, look out, look out. Goblin on the drop. Uh, are you okay? Either of you? Oh, you are, Wilbur. What about hey, you, McGuffin? Hey, you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. Oh, uh, could you give me the I was key? Abducted. An elf freed me. They want. Well, you've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. This looks like the adventure you were Listen, looking for. Boy, it's too late. You see this ring? It's the key. Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? But. All of our fates depend on it. Well, so you did not escape after all, goblin person. 
one ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. Oh, dear, dear, nobody's going to believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. Thought you were I all up for Master adventure. Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. Okay, well, let's ask Grandad. Thought the ring had writing on it. A heavy gold ring. Oh, it feels warm. That's not a good sign. There is sign. some fine script on the inside, but I can't Thought make that's what, what it was. says. Thought it had script on the inside and the outside from what we saw. Look at the icicle. Of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. Mm -hmm. But this year, winter came particularly early. We can take an icicle? It worked. I got one. Why do we want an icicle? A crystal clear icicle. I broke it off outside the bastion. Is this our weapon? Stretched out tarpaulin. 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 Tar the it's a tarp. supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. Well, nobody's out there now. We can take that too. I'm not climbing up there. It's all iced up. Oh. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. You okay? Look at the roll. What roll? A rolled up tarpaulin. Probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. Can we take it? Just pick up everything. Shove it in our pack. A rip-proof tarpaulin with eyes along the sides. Surprisingly light. Hmm. Yes. I actually expected you to say you couldn't pick it up because it was too heavy. Look at the bastion. The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. That's because everyone's off fighting with everyone else. It's hard to do building stuffs when there's a war on. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the Mountain Kingdom's northern front. Hmm. Now the Master Brewer and my family are the only ones left. Wow. Okay, back into the bastion. Don't want to do that. Look at the dwarf statue. Is this Gimli? Or Brunor? Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. Despite living with them? Is there more? Apparently the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. Yeah, it does. Can't look at that one. There's ladders and more icicles everywhere. There's a bridge. Look at the entrance to the gnome hole. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hole. We've been living here for generations. Well, before we go in there, Wilbur, let's see if we can explore around a little bit more. Uh -huh, There's no way out. I can walk all the way to Seastone. That's many days' march through these mountains. Well, we better get going then, right? Oh. No? Rats.